This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at EZ isomerism. EZ isomerism is based on the Kahn Ingold prelog rules of priority, which assign priority to each atom or group of atoms around the double bond. So in this molecule, we have four different groups bonded to the carbon atoms in the double bond. To determine if this is the E or the Z isomer, we assign priority to the atoms bonded to each carbon atom. So priority is assigned to the two groups of atoms bonded to the left-hand carbon and the two groups of atoms bonded to the right-hand carbon. The atom or group of atoms attached to the carbon atoms of the double bond with a higher atomic number have priority. If we look at the carbon atom on the left, bromine has a higher atomic number than hydrogen, therefore bromine has greater priority. If we look at the carbon atom on the right, C2H5 has higher priority than CH3 because it's the longer hydrocarbon chain. If both of the highest priority groups are on the same side of the double bond, it is the Z isomer. If the highest priority groups are on opposite sides of the double bond, it is the E isomer. So in this molecule, both the highest priority groups, that's the bromine atom and the C2H5 group, are on the same side of the double bond, Therefore, this is the Z isomer. So the molecule that we just looked at is Z1-bromo-2-methyl-butuanine. The molecule on the right has the bromine atom and the C2H5 group on opposite sides of the double bond. Therefore, it's the E isomer. And it's named E1-bromo-2-methyl-butuanine. Here we can see 3D models of both isomers. On the left, we have the Z isomer. On the right, we have the E isomer. As you can see in the Z isomer, the bromine atom and the C2H5 group are on the same side of the double bond. In the E isomer, the bromine atom and the C2H5 group are on opposite sides of the double bond. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the next video on optical isomerism.